few seconds to go. Start. It is further submitted that the learned trial court, while convicting the appellants, had relied upon the alleged recovery of stolen articles from the possession of the appellants. PW1 to PW4 had nowhere stated in their deposition that any stolen articles recovered from the possession of these appellants nor the person who identified those articles have been examined by the prosecution. It is further submitted that even the officer who conducted test identification parade of stolen articles had not been examined. Thus, the finding of the learned trial court regarding the recovery of stolen articles from the possession of the appellants is without any evidence. In view of the foresaid submissions, learned counsels appearing for the appellants had submitted that the impugned judgment and order of sentence cannot be sustained. On the other hand, Ms. Nand Prabha Shukla, learned additional government advocate, appearing for the state submitted that in the instant case, the appellants were identified by four witnesses, therefore, they have been rightly convicted by the learned trial court. It is submitted that though the appellants were arrested on 4th January 1979, but some culprits arrested on 14th February 1979, thus there was no delay in holding test identification parade. Moreover, the said delay had been explained. Therefore, the delay in holding the test identification parade of the appellants is not fatal for the case of the prosecution. It is further submitted that there is sufficient light at the time of occurrence. Therefore, the identification by the witnesses cannot be disbelieved. Accordingly, it is submitted that the impugned judgment of conviction and order of sentence passed by the learned court below require no interference in this appeal. Having heard the submissions, we have gone through the record of the case. In the instant case, the factum of decoity has not been denied. However, the appellants stated that they have not committed the present crime, rather they have been falsely implicated in this case at the instance of police. Thus, the only question arose for determination in this case is whether the appellants have any hand in the commission of present crime. In the instant case, the prosecution had tried to prove the charges framed against the appellants on the basis of evidence of PW1 to PW4. Prosecution also relied upon the statement of PW6 that from the possession of the appellants, some stolen articles recovered. We have considered the prosecution evidence and find that the prosecution tried to prove the recovery of stolen articles only on the basis of deposition of PW6, the investigating officer. This witness stated that three decoyers were arrested simultaneously from one place. He further deposed that all these articles ceased because they resembled with the stolen property. From perusal of the entire evidence of the prosecution, we find that none of the inmates of the family in whose house decoity took place had come forward and stated that the above articles stolen from their house nor they identified those articles in court. It further appears that the said articles were not produced in court. However, the learned trial court had given a finding that the articles recovered from the possession of appellants were put on test identification parade and the witnesses identified the same as their stolen property. But surprisingly, the test identification chart of stolen articles not proved by any witness including the officer who conducted the test identification parade. Under the said circumstance, the aforesaid finding of the learned trial court 
is absolutely without any evidence thus we find that the part of the judgment of the court below is based on conjecture and surmises now coming to the identification of these appellants by pw1 to pw4 it is worth mentioning that all the witnesses claimed before pw5 that they identified the decoyets while they were committing decoity it is an admitted position that the decoity was committed inside the house of pw1 and other persons of the village stop